I got the G clamp. <laughs> That's does, a does it hit, clamp, does yeah. it hit your yes. G spot? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I am a uh, artist formerly known as Vince Stone, uh, going as fast as I possibly can because last week Aromatic Dev bought this and I said I was going to wear it, and that's starting to get warm again. So there you go. I'd say legally distinguishable, not don't sue me. Uh, it, it, so it, got, v- Vonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, but I got, I got fucking Sanic. elbow gloves. Sanic. Yeah, I, I, listen, what really happened is I peeled a hedgehog. <laughs> I'm going to have some Keontae tonight. It's going to be awesome. Speaking of Keontae, Jordan Quang. Yes, all the way up there. Keeping Toronto nice, safe, and sound. And uh, soon to be living in Brighton, Pedro. <laughs> I'm just moving you around in places, man. <laughs> I want. Okay. I, I, I kind of wish my neighbor was a cow, honestly. Like that would be kind of dope. Is, together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form cocaine Voltron. Ooh, what's up? What's new, man? Uh, I've been playing around with. Uh, we were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, and I was playing around with a caching plugin called Lightspeed, which is a bit more involved than you know, like your standard like website caching thing. I've been using it for interfacing Linux. Now we're using it because I went through the trouble of setting up the backend server for uh, LinuxEmcast.com. Did that and it, it has a beautiful ability to just to like straight up lie to page speed rankings, which I approve of. And just like that way of like wink, pretty cool. Outside of that, uh, Jordan, I, I got a, uh, I saw it was mentioned in a tweet from the uh, director of like desktop graphics yeah. at Red Hat. And I'm like, oh, fuck, the fuck did call I do this? Called out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it was not good feels. I was like, oh, shit. What are I Apparently, he bought a uh, Firewire interface and he's going to send it to the, Creator of Pipewire. Good old, good old Wim. Wim Tamens, and uh, he's going to take a look, see if we can get those Fado drivers up and working, which I'm like, hey, I might have helped or assisted no, in doing a good. No, no, no <laughs> relation to Wim Hof, though. He's None. not like writing audio drivers while like sitting in buckets of freezing cold water. Although None. he might be. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe he does that. Jordan, outside of rebooting that modem, what have you been up to, man? I've been sitting in buckets of freezing cold water. No, I have not. That- that's, that's not a thing that I do. Now it's it's been I've I've been fucking around with WireGuard lately, and I'm I'm very I was mentioning that in the pre pre super shows, and I am very very impressed with just how how good a project it is, and just how inferior all other VPNs are in comparison at this point. Like by by a country mile, it is not funny. Um, uh, but dude, I mean, considering how much you got to pay for it, I know it's the most expensive free software I've ever used. Isn't Just like Nginx. <laughs> All right, Sink, you got to come off. You're going to my nerves. Uh, Pedro Mateus, uh, when you're done saving all that money, all that cheddar. Yes, uh, we are very much looking to move somewhere that isn't stupidly expensive, Cambridge, uh, United uh, Kingdom. Greece. <laughs> You, you Even can move going in back with to Portugal would be significantly cheaper at this point, but uh, yeah, no, it's somewhere that we're still because Nori wants to, uh, you know, get a job somewhere in and around Cambridge, and I, my job is still very much here. So uh, yeah, somewhere within driving distance. So we're looking basically far from Cambridge and far from London, so n- not south. <laughs> North, east, west, sure, not so. <laughs> how, how, how much livestock are you willing to live with? Fair point. That, 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 that's fine. We don't Wait mind the, the house. cows. <laughs> we don't mind the cows ever, you know, just, just watch the cows walk out in the backyard and see cows oh, uh, no, no, grazing. No, no, no. The, the, ca- the, the cows are in your kitchen and they're yes. demanding that you feed them. They have guns. <laughs> they won't demand for long because I won't feed them. <laughs> You, well, then you're, 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 you're going to be in some deep monster. bullshit, let me tell you. <laughs> Something that doesn't care whether or not you feed it is the horse who shows up each and every week. Yeah, it's hungry for justice. It's hungry for him. That's, that's what it is. It's the Steam, Steam Linux. And there's a new update. Oh. Yes. If, <laughs> if you've been following the betas, uh, you've already have all of this it's just the uh the the big roundup that they do for the stable client which it, it is a sizable change log that they have going on there uh the one that jumped out at me was um 
fix the case where the client could get stuck in the shutting down screen. Yeah, see, on my end, it's not that it gets stuck on the shutting down screen. It just doesn't fucking quit. <laughs> the tray icon just stays there and system D goes, look, it's been 90 seconds. I'm going to shoot you in the head now. Uh, and then it, then, then it goes away. But yeah, there's, there's a lot, especially, um, if you also have a steam deck, there was also a new version of, uh, the steam client for the steam deck that comes with all of these fixes as well. And very, especially the steam input ones, very, very important. So yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, like two things. One, you might've noticed if you have this, uh, they fixed an issue with the CD key thing not popping up, right? You know the thing, if you bought a game and it had a CD key and it's like, hey, you might want to copy this and save it or your house will burn down. That's fixed. And the reason I know, because it wasn't popping up and now it is and it wouldn't go away. Apparently they just reset that. So d don't panic. Don't panic if that shows up and you're like, oh. and another thing they changed. Uh, if you're over here on Team Green, you might know uh, we recently got the ability to get like proper hardware acceleration with NVIDIA on Linux and the Steam client. I'm like, that's neat. That's great. Also, that shit's broken again. So lovely. That, that's how I knew something had changed in the matrix and I went looking and I'm like, oh, there's that update right there. Did you run anything crazy on your end, Mr. Swung? No, I didn't. Uh, things are nice and stable in AMD land vis-a-vis -vis the Steam client. I guess that's just because of the Steam Deck, though. Like, they'll, they actually test that shit there, so I have some reasonable amount of confidence that it will work. Where's my Jensen Deck? <laughs> the, 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 the Gen Deck? All right, that's a switch. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Let's get fierce, raw, and what can only be described as the uh, we're running at ideas, lads. Best. Cue, cue the Jurassic Park kazoo remix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can get free points if you play the Steam game, which I don't know. I never do. Um, featured dino robots. And uh, what do we have in this fest? Uh, a couple of things you might know, like Ark. Detroit's got robots, <laughs> Ultra Kill, Mech Warrior 5. You were thinking about Mech Warrior 5, but it's like $14.99. You're like, nah, man. Uh, well, Terminator uh, for, Resistance for, is worth $14.99 <laughs> for a co-op game, maybe, but the co-op is broken, so... Mm, no, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's The Isle, which I have no care. Oh, the Talos is uh, yeah, 22 uh, Her Her Horizon uh, was on sale for 75% off. I grabbed that for 15 Canadian. What? The Cinnamon Toast Weave is... Stella, <laughs> Stella. Oh, at the end, it's a visual you, novel. Ooh. You yeah. you play as anime Marlon Brando. I'm good. Uh, yeah. If you don't have a Horizon Ginger Turbo, it's like twelve bucks. Go ahead and pick it's, that up. It's, it's real cheap now. Yeah. So I I decided I'm gonna give that a shot reluctantly. But yeah, I'm not really impressed by some of these sales. I was I was looking through things like Into the Breach is five bucks, and that's that's a really good game. So if you don't have it, you should get it for five bucks. But like nothing nothing super super compelling nothing that i was like ooh, i wanted to get exo primal but like they still that's still at uh, 50 percent off still like 40 bucks it's kind of expensive the the, the i looked through my uh, wish list and the biggest discount was lego 2k racers and that discount started two days before this sale went live so it's not even fucking related uh <laughs> it's yeah the the one that i saw that I mentioned earlier is a Terminator Resistance. It's um, possibly one of the best um, Terminator games ever. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's uh, the the combat is a lot more RPG like. It's a lot more Fallout ish than uh, most typical shooters of uh, the day, but. It, it it is absolutely a very very fun game, and they tell a very good story. It's only like ten or so hours long, the story, but for the discount, it's sixty five percent off right now. It's pretty good. The only thing I saw that uh, because here here it is, man. It's like less about the sales. These best for me are like exposure, and I guess in a weird way, it did work for Valve though because it got me looking around. I'm like, I don't care about any of these games. Let's go see what's on sale. And a game that has uh, I, I've been wanting to play for a while was uh, Devil May Yeehaw, or as they like to call it, Wild West. And no, evil, 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 evil West. <laughs> no, there is no giant no, it, robot it, it, spider. Wiki, wiki, wild, wild west. That's where <laughs> the joke was going, but it's evil west now. So, all right. Uh, there's well, wild actually, west. There's weird time, west. There's evil west. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, I, I want, I want the Jim West DLC for it. <laughs> 
Desperado. I enjoyed <laughs> playing <Wiki> it. <laughs> no. Uh, pretty decent game. Pretty decent game. It was like 19.99, and I was like, man, I've been thinking about buying this forever. It's, I think it's regular, like 40 bucks or whatever. But it's been two years, so I went ahead and bought it. Had a good time with that. But what do we think about Fest Fest? Do we even just pay attention to him? Has, have you seen a Fest in recent memory where you were like, fuck yes? Well, they had, the, they had that co-op fest. Or no, they had the remote play one coming up. That's going to be hilarious. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's also the um, there's a deck builder fest, which I am curious to see because <laughs> I like deck building games. So yeah, deck yeah. building games, I was like, yeah, I, I, I get it. But I never, okay, to what Jordan's was saying, like, we have a fest, but where are them sales, man? Like, well, get, I mean, the we, 20, we, we, 30, 40, or 40, you're getting in the waters, but like 20, 30% get wrecked. That's going to be 20, 30% off in two weeks from now anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah, what I'm saying is not, it's not really fest worthy for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, a fest, you're going to some great well, deals. Well, and like, not really. Well, it's like, it's, it's that, it's that problem that Steam has where like, oh, it's not on sale. Wait two weeks. Cause there's like a sale or a promotion or something basically all the time to the point right. where like. You're, yeah. But when, when, ev- when everything is a celebration, nothing is, right? You know what's a really good celebration? What? Crowbars. They're delicious and high in iron, and I really love snacking <laughs> on them. Yeah, Crowbar Collective. You might know them from a little game called Black Mesa, where they took that first Half-Life and they updated it to use the Source engine, or Source 2 engine, and... um Yeah, people, people, people like that. And now they're going to make a new game. Uh Well... That's that's all we know at the moment. We got a trailer with some colorful lines converging mm-hmm. into like a diamond, and the I don't know. To, to me, that seems like it's probably going to be like some sort of competitive game, maybe a shooter, maybe nope. nope. It's ma- going to be exclusive for the Atari VCS. Here yeah, it's gonna it's it's gonna be an Atari <laughs> FPS where you gotta like shoot blocks and AFPS. everything is a block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, we get this little trailer and we get a lot of speculation. I wonder, are they, at first I was like, oh man, are they going to pull like a Thanos dodge? Are they going to do it themselves? Do quarter death four? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. Based on, based on this. Yeah. It looks like it could be a, a team based game Four teams. Mm-hmm. Oh. I I don't know. I, I saw the, uh, like the color palette that they chose and the fact that the crowbar turns green. It's like, ah, opposing force. Gotcha. And then there's the blue lines, that blue shift. Okay, so th- there's the orange lines, just the Half-Life, could be Half-Life Decay, the PS2 one that had the co-op campaign. And purple for purple something. Purple rain, purple <laughs> rain. <laughs> yes, purple for yeah. Prince. <laughs> yeah, no, you, it's, it's, just, it's just Half-Life 2, but you're Prince instead of Gordon. <laughs> yes, I'd play the shit out of that, Aaron. Right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Uh, so ultimately, yeah, we basically confirmed it's going to be a remake of a Half-Life 2 in the uh, Source 2 engine. No. Yeah, star- starring Prince instead of Gordon Freeman. Yes. Yep. Done. I, just, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you have a hard time not getting people to not play that game, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Do you like really think they're going to stick with a uh, Valve IP? I'm pretty sure like they want to like we want all the money. Well, th- yeah, and and like the this um uh was it fucking I'm 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 spacing on the name even though I just fucking said it, but it put them on the map. Black Mesa put them on the map, right? Like mm-hmm. it it right. gave them a lot of reputation. It gave them a lot of eyes on them. So yeah, now if they want to transition to some original IP, now would be a good time to do that. Mm. If unless Valve scoops them up, they're like, you know what? Why don't why don't we? Why don't you're you're, you're us now? That <laughs> Black Mesa is now the official. Okay, Half-Life, if you, if you like, need money, Valve knocking on your door, you're like, that's awesome. But if you just want to make games, Valve knocking on your door, like, <laughs> what? Do you need something? So you want to pay me to not make games, right? right? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I, I mean, don't know. I, I would love to get paid to not work. What are you talking about? <laughs> that sounds good in theory, doesn't it? Um, yes. Up next, a couple of new games we have uh, this week. Uh, on top of crowbars, things that are actually out is Pedro, probably the most quake looking fucking quake game this side of quake. Oh, yes. And Linux native, too. Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. Uh, if you are into the boomer shooters, uh, you, you might want to put your boom shoot cap on because it's out. It's out of early access. You can get it on. Uh, I already owned the game i bought it when it was uh an early access they had a pretty good sale so i just bought it then i have been waiting to play it until it was out it is so i i am gonna get into it very very soon it's uh yeah it's published by 3d realms 
the new 3D Realms, uh, and uh, made by Killpixel and Slipgate Ironworks, which Slipgate Ironworks, they have a bit of a storied history. They, it's like the, the, um, I might confusing them with someone else. I could be confusing them with someone else. Like that stuff. <laughs> Sla- slander them. <laughs> slander yeah. them live on the air, Go baby. Ahead. <laughs> no, they made, no, okay, I'm not. Uh, they made Blast Out of Hell, which, uh, it, it wasn't great. <laughs> So th- th- this is this is actually done on ID Tech too, which I mean, you know what? As long as you're not using Unity, I'm on board with it, right? Uh, yeah. You gotta imagine. You gotta dig um dig up some old timers to get to work on that stuff, right? I want. I wonder. Like, do do you do you really think we get like the extra kids going around? Like, I I know how to tango with ID Tech too, and they look at it and they're like, <laughs> "What was wrong with you people?" <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's yeah, there's some masochistic Gen Z people, yeah. <laughs> Quite possible. Um, this really genuinely looks like, uh, you know, a more flushed up. Imagine if the original Unreal was done in id Tech 2, and it, it kind of had that look to it. What is it? 2124, currently on sale, 15% off. It's single player. And, uh, okay. I, I'm not against it. I'm just not into boomer shooters. I was there, man, when the fucking shit was written like I- i'm good i don't need to go back to so it. was i and i still very much enjoy them and yes i it is slipgate iron works that i was talking about there's um they're also the ones who made graven which has been Isn't very very a, this bit of heresy though <laughs> 64 bit only i need i need to run I... on my 8-bit computer man my <laughs> <8-bit> dvc <laughs> micro uh for you know the 2024 i think that's to be expected mm. oh all right well, maybe we can just kill some Windows instead. Quite possible. <laughs> Window Kill is a game where a bunch of uh, where you're 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 in a you're in a window on a Microsoft Windows desktop, and you gotta you gotta stay inside the window and oh, shoot so the sides of the window. Horror genre, huh? Yeah, right. yeah. So th- this is this is this is what I mean, right? Like the the, the whole the whole notion of like, <laughs> oh, you have to have actually fight the level in addition to all the enemies is an interesting little gameplay twist. I just don't know if I want to spend my free time on a Windows desktop. <laughs> that just seems like a that just seems like bad time for me, and that it immediately does not make me makes me not want to play this game. But it is avail, it is available natively on on the Linuxes though. If you do need some Windows desktop emulation and don't feel like running KDE, uh, yeah, people seem to like it, man. Overwhelmingly positive. Five hundred thirty five reviews. I actually, ran across this Pedro. Uh, he posted it to our game dev, and he's like, "Hey, man, I'm fucking around with this uh, different mechanic." And I'm like, "All right, cool, man. It's got very cool." Part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I remember playing a similar game. Uh, I don't, I can't remember if it was part of the After Dark uh, pack of uh, software. It was like some weird game pack like that for like the old old Windows, where uh, you'd start it and it would. Does that have online multiplayer? You 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 no. no. You remember that shared. one website that you would go to that would be like, you are an idiot. <laughs> and just spawn all the pop-up windows. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, that was that one too. Yeah. But no, this one, it spawns uh, some ghosts and you would have to double click on the ghost. But as soon as you click the ghost the first time, it would select them and they would just go all over the screen and stupidly fast and you couldn't click on them. Uh, and yeah, so basically you were stuck there until you managed to uh, close all the ghosts. So I don't, I, I don't have fond memories of those times and uh so I don't so long the, for those days. So the, the, this this has this has split screen co-op. I kind mm-hmm. of want them to implement like online co-op but like over RDP, like actually over Windows desktop. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. That would be kind of slick, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm so far removed from Windows at this point. I was like, I don't know, is that is that what Windows is that Windows ten or Windows eleven? Uh that's Windows ten. Okay. But they have like a window, but like the backgrounds were those XP and yeah, okay. Like if, the, if you could change it like the Windows XP mode, maybe, maybe I, I could Win, Windows three one, Microsoft Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, Windows one point oh. Let's just do it in DOS, baby. Uh, what are we? Four ninety nine. Go pick it up if you want. Support anybody who goes ahead and drops out. I, I, I dude, I mean, you're trying something different. No, it's yeah, like, change it's, it's, the, fight, fight the, the level. player. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And closing up, because I always like to give uh, studios a mention if they at least go through the trouble of getting Steam Deck verified. What the fuck is that? Okay, check it out. Uh, if you got a game like, you know, Valve was like, yeah, hey, we'll get around to like tracking it and like see like maybe if it works on deck and we'll put like a little symbol up there. But if you want to go through like a little 
song and dance was like thumbs up it's steam deck terrified and usually that works out unless name your games like the last of us and you're like did anybody <laughs> fucking really try this on a steam deck i don't believe you <laughs> however we, we pressed play that was it <laughs> if you're a fan of star wars and ice skating we got something for you dark forces remastered <sighs> it I, I kyle katarn I, I didn't really think yeah. about the original OG game. OG Kyle um, without the, the goatee. <laughs> remastered cutscenes and all of that looks slightly better. Come on. It looks significantly yeah. better yeah. because the original game was uh, 320 by 240. Okay. That was it. We got dust off. We got it's, dust off. It's, it's not interlaced anymore. We got, we got full, we got the, full uh, image, man. The wiggling <laughs> graphical cutscenes, what passed for cutscenes back in the day, literally look like flash animations now. So there's that. And uh, they remade, uh, seriously, major kudos to Night Dive because they remade all of the cutscenes, mm -hmm. still in the same style of the original, and they up all of the textures and everything. Seriously, if you played uh, the original Dark Forces, uh, try this one or just have a look at the, uh, the trailer or someone but, playing but, it on but, YouTube. It looks amazing. <laughs> As you mentioned, this is a night dive joint, and they also did Quake Beth Mastered. So, how is the movement? Is is it ice skating? What I don't would know. Brian Boitano do if he was here? Right now? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, do, I do genuinely hope the movement is a little bit more accurate in yeah, this one. The, the first thing that came to mind is like Night Dive Studios. Oh, you, you're the lads that turned Quake into an ice skating game because uh, that the physics are not right in uh, Quake Beth Mastered at all. Still to this day, it's twenty nine ninety nine. That's a big ask, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, for for nostalgia, yeah, no, nostalgia. <laughs> like mm, maybe like if, if you can't help yourself and like they did say like, hey, we uh -oh. went through the trouble. It's got the uh, verified learn more thing on it. So I'll at least give it a mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, they actually put in a lot of work to make it not just for the Steam Deck, but to actually make it look decent. So, yeah, unfortunately, you won't be able to experience. Oh, well. I, I was going to say, yeah, but we get back into what we were talking about last week with like sharp polygons, man. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. And the whole like all, all, all of these, uh, all of these games were made for like monitors with some fuzz. Right? Well, with some fuzz. And like, this is like that weird time when things weren't all 3D yet. We were like 2.5. Yeah, no, th these are sprites still. It's very yeah, high res sprites. 3D, but <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there that's like following you around. You're like, hey, wait a minute. I know what's yeah. going on. Let when we had Quake the first time, we we were fascinated by just walking around shit, all right? It was a simpler time, kids. Now, Drew, it's fine. You were about yeah, to bring up. Well, I was going to say was, one thing you can't do is experience the OG Dark Forces remastered uh, on a 120 hertz 4K TV over HDMI if you have an AMD video card. It might broke ass game in 4K, 120, man. You what can, you can if you're using the proprietary drive. Fine. Yeah. So <laughs> Why you would can. you do that? Right. <laughs> It's not possible. HDMI form has rejected AMD's Linux driver support for HDMI 2.1. That's right. Uh, like Jordan was saying, 4K 120 and five, get the fuck out of here. 5K 240. Yeah, that exists. Apple. Um, <laughs> the HDMI form has rejected AMD's proposal. This rejection prevents Linux users of newer AMD Radeon graphics cards from taking full advantage of HDMI 2.1 equipped displays. What does this mean for you at home? Well, if you happen to, you know, or just buried in 5K 240 or uh, 4K 120 monitors laying around, you're like, damn it, all I have is HDMI cables. Get fucked. However, if you have a display port cable, you plug that in and it's just going to work like normal. Now, I think the bit of contention here is AMD spent time, resources, and energy working up a proposal to work with the HDMI gangsters and say, hey, let's open source this spec to the point where it'll work with our open source drivers. AMD was trying to do a good for the open source community, probably because it would make money for them somehow. They worked it out and you can never tell. <laughs> the HDMI uh, mafia came back and went, LOL, get wrecked, not going to happen. And this is really a big deal on Linux because as somebody who went through the trouble of showing you how to get the professional drivers installed on a modern Linux distribution, step one is Go install a different distribution than you're currently running because that's AMD don't give a fuck about their binary drivers. They're like, it'll work with this and this and that's it. What about the nope won't work with that? It you won't work with your Polaris list. card anymore either. Right. So <laughs> it's yeah. not <laughs> it's not a fun time. And uh, you know, this is like one of those situations where you're gonna be the correct drivers to use on AMD on Linux is the open source drivers. Period. If you're gonna be playing games, watching stuff. 
just not going to work. And I really didn't realize it. So now, gentlemen, who's got HDMI plugged into a monitor right now? Who's got uh, 120 hertz? I have a 144, but it's over display board. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but so and but so here's the thing though: a lot of new TVs are coming out with uh, 4K 120 hertz panels. That's great. And, this is my computer, right? But you know, you still you still might want to like output your computer to whatever screen you have handy. I, and I if you spend all your money on a monitor. TV, what are you talking about, homie? I'm well, that, good. That, that 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 is you and not everyone else. <laughs> Sounds um, like an everyone else problem. <laughs> yeah, that that that's kind of what it is. That everyone else problem. Um, it's, I mean, I mean, this, and really like, when are we going to start seeing USB-C on TVs? The, the HDMI stranglehold is like kind of one of those really baffling things because there are just no, it's better not. outputs. Why, what are you baffled about? HDCP. Uh, well, yes. Yeah. That, that, that's, like, that's, that's, that's the, the more the only reason. Reason. entirety reason. That's why innovation. HDMI like yeah. hooked up, got its claws in and is still around with a death grip today. HDCP, <laughs> which is got yeah. production. That's it. That's the end of the fucking discussion which, which, right there. Which, which is like <laughs> super easy to circumvent, except for the fact that it's legal. We'll get to, we'll get to that a little bit oh, later. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, the way you, Jordan, you're 100% right. Like, yeah. Try to buy an HDMI splitter that doesn't strip it. Nobody claims they strip it, but they all fucking strip it. Sometimes you'll get unlucky and you'll get the one that doesn't. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> like the EVGA XR1 uh, that uh, well, it uh, just refuses um, to play an HDCP signal. And like <laughs> looking at some of the Reddit threads of like some of, some of the users that are just like, oh yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta get like this one active adapter. This is the one that we know converts mm. HDMI to, to display port or uh, HDMI 2.1 to display port 1.4 or whatever. And like, it'll, it'll, it'll do it and not like completely jack up your image. But it really is like the chicken and the chainsaw problem, though, man. Like, if you get DisplayPort on your TV, like, fuck else you're going to plug that into outside of a computer. Like, you basically got a pity thing. I remember um, yeah. back in the early aughts, my buddy bought, like, this ginormous tube TV. I mean, it probably was, like, coming up on, like, 48 inches. It had a fucking VGA port on it, though, man. Mm. I was like, yeah. You got to find like that. I'm sure there are some TV, but TV, the price of, like, TVs are so cheap now, they're not going to throw any extra benefits unless, yeah. like, you're buying a relatively, you know, like, expensive one maybe you might get a display port and dealing you, with you active have to, you have to get an expensive dumb tv right like that's kind of it they, they don't want you plugging shit except for like a console in there at these days, monitors right? yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're not going to be watching actual tv just buy a monitor mm. yeah <laughs> they, just, they just need to make like big like 65 70 inch like regular ass monitors that i could buy right they do they do. I got They're mostly targeted at business. <laughs> right, yeah. They're, and they have that business price tag attached to it. But they're yeah, really cool because you have to buy a kiosk well stand in order to hold them. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> True story. All right. Uh, that's a big womp womp. And no, they're not going to do anything about it. I mean, there's nothing AMD can legally do. Now, I guess maybe, maybe AMD could just make it work. But the, the thing is, is they can't put the HDMI logo on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, call it, it I witch instead. <laughs> call it nothing. Be like mystery hole with question marks around it. And, uh, call it GDMI, the goddamn <laughs> media interface. There we go. Uh, yeah, that just really sucks that HDMI uh, exists in that state right there. But uh, there we go, man. And there's really nothing we can do about it. Like, just make sure that your next display has a display port, not yes. HDMI. Yeah. There we go. Um, or Type C, like Jordan mentioned. <laughs> or Type C. Yeah, I mean, don't 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 get your hopes on that one. Either, I man. was I was really hoping that like Apple's big push for that would result in some TVs like actually like dude, I, Type C ports. But, dude, uh, I thought everything like if God, there's so many technical innovations that we should just have right now. Like, mm -hmm. Right now, everything should be like if uh, Intel had gotten off their ass and quit trying to like in, if they hadn't an Intel Thunderbolt so hard. Yes, like. Everything should just be Thunderbolt right now. That should just be the universal, like, fuck USB, fuck everything else. Just Thunderbolt, done. Connecting. Wired, wired PCI. E GPU, that, done. Display, done. Audio, oh, done. That whatever. That like, would have been a nice moon future. Yeah, Ooh. can't have that. Can't have nice things. However, on Linux, Pedro Mateus, we can now have furry donuts. Yes. yes. We can have the fuzzy butthole that uh, all the Windows users have been playing with for the past however many years. For is our a version. Yes. 2.1.0 is... A has been released and it comes with uh, apparently this is news for the windows crowd too it comes with 64 bit uh, <laughs> uh executables and uh, of course the linux version which is also 64 bit only 
And yes, we've all uh, been playing with the fuzzy uh, butthole over the week. There was a, a rash of screenshots being shown on our Discord when this was first announced. And uh, yeah, uh, Ven has a little benchmark that you can run in the show notes. Uh, so yeah, post that as a YouTube comment. Oh, <laughs> Just confuse on. the shit out of everyone else. Oh no, but wait, but why am I going to work? Let's go to my other Linux named website. What's it called? <laughs> there we go. Uh, I did some uh, doop, 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 firmware. Here we go. I did some benchmarks. If you want to see, here's the little command. Yeah, it's over on interfacing Linux, but on the uh, 3060, my old crusty retro vintage 3060. Oh boy, we were crushing it at 2160. D running that, getting 4,689 frames generated in a mere 120 seconds, but not, not to be left out because this is team green, right? This is team green. You're thinking, man, what about team red? I had to break out the 5,600G, which was able to crush 714 frames at 2160p, which falls very well into the, I'm surprised you could do it at all, little buddy, with Vulcan 1.3. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Uh, now, Back to the real thing. So the 3060, this is going to be our baseline right here, which is an old 12 gig card, two generations old, 4,600 FERPs. That's how many frames I got. How many did you get, Pedro? Uh, I didn't get the total uh, FERPs count, but I got a minimum of 48. What was your average? average? Let's just stick with averages so we're not. Yeah, the average is uh, 50.296005. Okay, 50. I got 39. Mm -hmm. Jordan over here with his big boy, get wrecked, you scrubs GPU. Uh, 79.5 at 2160p ish. And what was that with? Uh, that was with the 7800 XT. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, like, technically, it's tw 3840 by 2123 because it didn't want to go full screen. It was stuck, it was stuck in a window. <laughs> but, like, you know, it's, it's close enough. It's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think. The, ex the extra couple pixels are going to really make that. I did difference. see uh, th there was because uh, when we were running it uh, and people were posting on our Discord about it, uh, Jalo, one of our Patreons, uh, was like, there's some weird artifacting at 4K. Just, uh, everything else below that is fine. It's just 4K. It's like some weird stuff happening. And I look at his videos like, OK, so the alpha channel is just fucking up. And it's instead of being transparent in, you know, showing what's behind it, uh, it's just showing like a white uh, bit it's like ar artifact. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's yeah, it's present there with the 6700 XE also has a 6700 XE. Apparently, Jordan also ran into a little bit of that. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, but, they were experiencing but. artifacting on both of their AMD, therefore rendering their results invalid. Clear winner here, 3060. <laughs> Superior, superior. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. But like that, this was the genuinely the first time I heard I heard that card get a little whiny. I'm like, what's that noise? <laughs> what's uh, oh, that's like that's like actual coil whine. Mm. Wow, this is the first time this has actually been a problem. Let's just go ahead and roll that back. If you're unfamiliar <laughs> with fur markets, how you torture your GPU? That is its sole sole purpose for existing is like slamming it. Yeah, like it, it's not there for fun. It's not there because you enjoy furry donuts. It's like fuck this even. Did, did you install that new cooler right? Stress did you use the right amount of possible, right? thermal thermal right. paste? Right, like, this yeah. is something that you want to run while you're compiling a kernel after a new build to see if something <laughs> pops, man. Just like yeah. all right, let's no, just go ahead and do that. Well, if if you want to see like thing. how much power your uh, PC can draw from the wall, this is the thing you run. This is. The power vampire. It's a good if thing. You, though, if you are you very cold do. in the dead of winter, you should <laughs> run this mesh park. And like we were talking in the pre pre super shows, and go back and listen to that. Uh, the we're get, we're getting 3D Mark later this year, so we're we're gonna have like something resembling a uh, good test suite. For, oh like, man, doing for, GPUs on Linux. For, for Onyx, they're gonna have to step up their game. Mm -mm, no <laughs> man, you you need to understand how good Warsaw runs, and uh, you're near 4090. <laughs> Uh, Xeno Clash, or it's not Xeno Clash. <laughs> What's the other one? Oh, uh, Zenotic. <laughs> Zenotic, that's the one. <laughs> what about Roblox? Well, can't do that no mo. We heard we heard the rumors. It's official. Roblox will be dropping sport for wine, uh, and there it's our it's already started to pop up. I saw some screenshots in our Linux today or our Linux gaming where they're like, ah, I hate Roblox now because wine has been blocked. They actually will like pop up a little message that says, "We're sorry, wine is blocked." And uh, you might be wondering why, why exploitative child labor machine Roblox would you not want Linux users into your little playground? And they, they said, because y'all are cheating 
and we're not making as much money as a result. And instead of actually properly implementing anti-cheat, our job as rent seekers is merely makes it mandates us to just ban an entire platform because that's more cost effective. And that's basically what happened. Um, some they, they, they are saying that like, oh, you know, we are we are detecting more cheaters coming on coming through uh, on uh, using line. Now, do you and think we, that's fabrication or just like, yep, probably are. Well, so here's the thing. If I was running a bot farm, running bots with Linux is re- a lot easier than running automation, baby. Yeah, like straight up. Line just makes it convenient there. I'm like, yeah. all right, nice little piece of middleware we got to. Uh... Yeah, it, it's, it's a real nice shell script wrapper where you can just like do a for loop and like just run a bunch of wine clients, right? Now, can you fight against that? Yes, you can. You but uh, time, resource, and all that. And they're like, we're too busy collecting money, you fucking nerds. Um, From yeah. uh, underage people. Ex- explo- exploiting children for, for labor. Mm-hmm. They yearn for the mines. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I'm still willing to bet, even if there were bot farms, uh, which they probably were. Uh, but <laughs> yes, yeah, but I, don't I, let that get in the way. <laughs> I, I <laughs> do suspect... Uh, historically given that the game hasn't worked on linux for years and it started working last year or in 2022 uh and now it's going to be broken again i suspect there was a lot more cheating happening on windows that their bullshit uh anti-cheat well, system never really caught then <laughs> as, as, as many people have brought up as well anything that's possible through wine is possible through windows yeah. because yeah, it's, but to yeah, Jordan's it's, it's, point, if I was going to be do but cheating's fine. Yeah. Cheating at scale, <laughs> mm-hmm. way simpler on Linux, right? <laughs> uh, uh, apparently, there are like just cheater ISOs where you install a a Linux that boots up Roblox with all the cheats loaded. Well, that's what apparently, I'm thinking. Apparently, they're I, using Mango HUD and shit. <laughs> we, we, we're thinking about little Tibby like doing. The, I was like, no, nah, I'm talking about like deployment type shit. And I'm yeah, like, so, yeah. So, so someone who is trying to like make actual money off of Roblox, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, um yeah fix your shit look at this though man uh put a positive spin on it roblox once again is an effective tool to prevent your children from playing it. linux just install it it's robux robux roblox proof now you don't have to worry about it you don't got to spend any more robux mm-hmm. which is what the, the <laughs> currency is and called. look at this look at dude they will be trying so many things on their linux distribution to try to make it work they'll end up accidentally learning something right oh there we go just don't, don't play the damn game or like go 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 back to your windows like i have never understood the one game bullshit uh with like i would use linux but never pay attention to these motherfuckers because they'll never fucking use linux but, in the first place that's just something they like to get out and say so they can get a little false cred be like yeah yeah i'm right there with you we're the same i would totally be no the fuck you wouldn't shut up um yeah. now but, but to be fair you, there there's the there are I those am people Peter, right now who, i'm being polite <laughs> who play the one game there are the people that you look at their Steam history after they add you on Steam and they have 12,000 hours in con one soul. Game. Well, no, now you can buy a ROG ally. It's, it's great. It's on sale right now. It, it is. It, it, I just checked uh, while you guys were talking and it, it is still on sale. The ROG ally is $200 off. Are you sure, are you sure off about that? <laughs> on, uh, on Best Buy, if you're in the U.S., uh yeah, you can get the uh 512 gig version um with the Do you get a LADP. link? Anybody get a link to Best Buy? Uh, uh yeah, no, don't click on that one because yeah, I know uh, I can't get to it because it's, it's got all the blocking <laughs> shit on the browser. Yes. Okay, Pedro, uh, you talk ad nauseum and I'll find the link. Yeah, I just posted it on Discord. Where the, I'm not on Discord. Um, Oh, okay. God <laughs> damn it. Perfectly good show notes we're all reading off here is on Discord. But tweet it to me, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I sent it to you on co-host. Hold on. God damn it. All right. There you go. Uh the yeah, no, it's uh, the basic version. It's not the um Z1 Extreme. Uh n- not the one with the big fancy processor. Uh it's the lower end version, but it is oh, that no. Steam Deck price right there. How That's much is the absolutely extreme? That's five ninety nine. <laughs> you know that's not. And yeah, no, the, and, 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 and you get a game, like pa- and you get a month thing. of Game Pass. That's not a bad. Yes. That's actually not a bad deal. Uh, that that was when it was first released. The one yeah. with the Z one Extreme. People were saying, okay, that's the price of the most expensive Steam Deck. It's a little like fifty bucks more expensive than the uh, priciest Steam Deck, and it's it's a fairly good deal if you can deal with Windows. 
or who the fuck still has wall clocks? <laughs> Uh, literally Ooh. every office around here. <laughs> this is clearly someone's parents' house, right? Yeah, like, clearly, man. Like, like <laughs> a wall clock that looks so out of place. That's weird. I'm like, I think one of those in a minute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is. Uh, chances are, if you're uh, someone who is listening to us and uh, you're thinking about getting the um, the ROG Ally, that's a damn good price for the uh, the low end version that's way overpriced Pedro. I'll have you know Mateus for mere 199 I can get a PlayStation portable and play Android games on it. Yes. yes. Or you can try and bribe that uh Google uh engineer that managed to uh jailbreak it and install PPSSPP on it <laughs> so that you can actually and, play no, actual actual games. Games. Just, just play Final Fantasy Tactics on it. <laughs> Seven inch 1080p, 120 hertz uh, screen on this bad boy. RDNA 3, which is fine. 16 gigajoules of memory RAM in this bad boy. Uh, now, this would be infinitely more interesting if we could just go over to the Steam store and download a copy of Steam OS 3. Point, get wrecked, but we can't, which also really sucks. But do you think this is just the beginning? Because this is my first thought when I saw this. I'm like, Best Buy is not alone. A lot of retailers have these things. You know, you see the success of the Steam Deck. Then you got, you know, the Fierce, the Claw. Then you got the Ally and all this shit. Like, well, yes. We're going to be selling the hell out of these things. All right, stock them up. How about it? Everybody <laughs> walked in like, wait a minute. So I can get, I can just like 300 bucks and get the Steam Deck that supports and just works. With you, you're, you want $800 for whatever the fuck this is? <laughs> oh yeah that's well, running I, windows I, 11 <laughs> well i mean I, there, there's that little that little shopping widget at the bottom that's like your best deals for for uh your rog ally in canada um yeah you, we, we we don't get a little discount here we get uh we just get ra- we get bent over the railing uh turns out uh yeah. 695 canadian dollars so that's about 300 dollars you ask yeah it's, I'm, I'm, lo- I'm looking at the 12 the 1200 dollar one uh Uh-oh. no man uh so no. Here's what I'm thinking about, though, but I think we're going to see more of this as this hardware, because uh, like all of these companies, they, they haven't learned anything. They haven't realized the secret sauce is the steam. They're, everybody's working on their Gen 2 of these, and like now it's kind of making more sense of Valve going, well, we don't really want to release that uh, operating <laughs> system because you fools are just going to run out and buy these uh, cut, which good hardware, great hardware. It's just got a claptastically shit operating system on it for mobile gaming aka windows 11 or 10 and or it's any. got uh, in the case of asus it's got armory crate which is it's a root kit it, it really it comes on the motherboard and even if you wipe windows it will reinstall itself straight from the firmware it, it it's a fucking root kit <laughs> i do yeah i do on it <laughs> It's plan nine. Plan nine. Someone all actually the way. got someone actually got Haiku running on the Steam Deck, like in hardware. It's like good job. Seriously. I mean, See, I wish I knew somebody is, with a, a birthday computer. coming up that really wanted a Steam Deck just so I could buy him a fucking Steam Deck, put Haiku on it, package that shit back up, and just see the look <laughs> on their face. And they're like, "Oh no, I need to go buy a USB C to USB A thing." Yeah, so I, I, can I just need a USB C dock. Let's put some more this... difficulty to, to a motherfucker that's like, "Oh, it's a gaming console." <laughs> yeah, get out of here with your USB shit. They're like, what? The, yeah. what? Uh, I don't that's know what all, thing. Yeah. Can I shake it and it comes back? <laughs> I, I, actually, actually, my my favorite part of that really cheap capture card I bought was the it, it's the Type C to just regular USB connector. So now I can just plug that into my Steam Deck and reimage it, and I don't need to worry about a dock station. Dope. Uh, I, I, I look handy. forward to our uh, super cheap uh, portable handheld things. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, good operating system. Eventually. Who knows, man? Hollow ISO, baby. Hollow ISO. ISO. Like, OS is pretty good. Also, also, you're not <laughs> doing any favors, Asus, with like, because I know somebody who bought one of these. And they're like, damn. All right. I should have waited a few months. Literally just a few months. And it would have been good. Up yeah. next. Good news, everybody. We don't have to worry about. You know, there was that scene in Back to the Future. He's like, you got to play with your hands. What are you? You know, and then Michael J. Fox just like unhinges his jaw and eats children, which is really cool. Uh, but maybe you don't want to carry around like a child a display between your oven mitts. How about this little device from Techno Mobile? That way you can put the display on your fucking face. Might sound familiar, right? <laughs> just a little bit. But these are cool little shades they're not big giant toasters 
And that controller looks like, Pedro, it might have a computer built into it. Yes, it judging be, by how wide it is. A wee bit <laughs> yeah. warm. I am looking at it like, that controller has things that look suspiciously like exhaust ports on the yes. bottom. It, it has exhausts at the top and seems like inlets at the bottom, and it's wide and it's thick. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hmm, that looks like the NVIDIA Shield, the first one. Uh, but with Sony's Glastron from the uh, 90s, like heads up display thingy glasses that they had, where you could be walking down the street while watching videos on your Sony Glastron and get hit by a car. <laughs> yeah, get, uh, get, walk into people, <laughs> just like yes. walk and, right into uh, a fire hydrant and fuck up your shins. No, but instead of the NVIDIA Tiger, it has I'm an AMD I'm looking AP. at this, and while I'm not, a, I'm not an astronomer, it's got a 50 watt hour battery to run. Uh, are the gla- are the glasses a separate battery? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that's what I was thinking. Awesome. Like, uh, and are are the, and is it a is it a wireless display or is it does a it just a haphazardly part? shoot out bolts of electricity towards the glasses? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. No, there's it's a, a, it's a cable. laser you can beam see the directly picture into your of brain. the person right below that. There's a picture of the person, and there's a cable going from the controller to the. Oh, that's been oh, conveniently oh. left the fuck out of all the um. <laughs> yeah, all the other images. Yeah. So yeah, so so it looks like you're gonna have one battery for both. Dude, the, that looks for the infinitely like the... no hell no, dude. That is like immediately you're like oh no. <laughs> so like in in principle, I don't think like this is this is a bad idea where but you don't the, you don't have to worry about the, the size glasses of the look dorky as hell, dude. They like stick up. Oh, like, who, the, who, the, who the fuck cares? Me? Are you are you are you going to be on the bus? Yes. Gaming on this, hoping I to am. knock on ladies on my or, unicycle. All right. Difficult well, to ride then. a unicycle <laughs> on a bus. By the way, I don't need additional challenges or to be judged. Bye bye. Too bad. Too bad. It's, 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 it's fucking happening. God damn it. When, when they had to lower the wheelchair ramp for you to like ride the unicycle up, everyone was staring and judging. But like, yeah, so something something like this where you don't have to worry about the size of the display. You can just have one that's just projected in front of you. Um, not not necessarily a bad idea, uh, especially as far as handhelds go. I just I, I I just wonder like if if that like actually becomes practical when the rubber hits the road. I don't know. I'm thinking about like just like the hand warmer. This has got a Ryzen seven seventy eight forty U. Um, Z one extreme. So uh, what uh, eight eight core, Radeon seven eighty yeah. mobile. And it's all built into the controller, which I'm just like, dude, all right, you got shit on your face and you're holding the brains in your hands. The things that you're just going to drop normally when you don't have crap on your face is your controller. It's going to fall off. That thing's going to survive, what, three drops off a desk? Well, uh, well, you got you to wonder how, what the, will the glasses survive when they fall off your face? Because you're going to look <laughs> down and they're going to go, whoop. I am assuming so, because less moving fan. <laughs> but 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 like also once once you take out the requirement of having like a screen, you have more room for like heat flow. You have more room to like cram more hardware in. So and instead of taking advantage of that, know. you shove it inside of a hand controller. I, yeah, I, I see what's going on there, engineering wise. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you don't have the LCD building up heat near the uh, the rest of the components. So nope, just you a can fucking make... CPU between your hands. Yes, you can make <laughs> so, the cooling like more effective. Like like so oh, yeah, no. if you take a Steam Deck, but you take the screen out of it. So no, you no, make I, I want you shorter. to take the thermal envelope of that Steam Deck and put it in your fucking handheld controller, and let's get on the same page here, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I hold thing. onto my Steam Deck. It doesn't, get a, good... it doesn't get sweaty. Yes, your Steam Deck. So you might as well. Yeah, you hold onto a carrot. It's not cut your Steam Deck in half, and that's that's what you got to work with for heat dissipation. Half your fucking Steam Deck. Yeah, but that could be a very good use case for the. There's no uh, argument the, here, but you guys keep going. The the solid state coolie thingy. Yeah. Because it uses a lot less space than the blower fans like the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally have. Uh-huh. And you, c- yeah, no, if you don't have uh, yeah. to account for the screen, if you don't have to have the screen and accounting for the space of it, you get a lot more room to put some proper cooling in it. <sighs> and this, and like this, this is a Gen 1 device. No one is expecting this one to hit, <laughs> knock it out of the park the first time around. But I'm, I'm just saying it's a compelling idea. It's not, it's not a bad idea on, on its face. Imagine losing your controller. Imagine losing <laughs> you your, your computer. <laughs> your, 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 people get their switches and Steam Deck stolen all the time. This is, this is the risk of taking it out in public. Why would you ever take something like that out in public? Because you want to get laid on the bus, apparently. How many times have you taken your Steam Deck out of your house? Several. More Twice. than ten. <laughs> More than to where? I'm curious. <laughs> to other people's houses. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I'm in a long car ride, I've taken a couple road trips with it. That was fine. Pedro? 
I went to Portugal with it, and I took it to the office once because I was protesting. Anyway, if you want a uh, little thermal note box like that with some VR headsets, then uh, l- let me know. Let me know. I don't know if there's a market for it. Well, there's certainly no market for playing Switch games on it. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that, man? I, 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 listen, I got I got a rain on everyone's parade. I, I know. I'm just, I'm you, just, you, you, you the guy little who went bought a Switch, dude. Anybody else talks about Switch? You're like, fuck you, nerds, man. You could have a real Switch to play video games on. Yeah, the Steam, the, the Steam Deck. Yeah. Well, that, that's <laughs> that's that's what Nintendo is saying, at least. So. This is this is the big news today or this week. This is the big story. Nintendo is going to be suing Yuzu for um, enabling piracy. You might be thinking, well, Jordan, you sexy idiot. You you can't really there, there's no real circumvention happening when it comes to Yuzu, right? You need to extract the production decryption keys from your, your Nintendo Switch. They do provide instructions on how to do that. But you do need the valid encryption keys from a purchased console to actually run Yuzu, Yuzu properly and like run Nintendo Switch software. To which Nintendo is saying that's still piracy. You are still enabling circumvention by enabling by allowing you to extract that key for you see when you pay that one hundred dollars Canadian I don't or eighty dollars US. Resize. Re- Resize. Oh, that's resist. Okay. Uh, yeah. resize. I thought that said resize I for a second, and then I didn't realize the other serif, at the, the missing serif at the bottom of the D. But like, but what Nintendo is saying is, in effect, when when you when you pay your absorb, exorbitant fee for your Nintendo Switch games, you are paying for you are paying for the permission to play this game on the specific Nintendo console that you own, and that 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 is it. Anything else beyond that is circumvention. And you might think, you might say to yourself, that's a really dumb argument. I don't think this will stand up in court. But it doesn't need to stand up in court. It just needs to have enough legs to bankrupt the Yuzu people so that they stop. Is, is that Kirby? Yeah, I think that might... Oh, no, I think that's Wiglet. That's one of the new Pokemon. Okay. Wiglet, yeah. Do you get, do you get a ruling on the field in this one, Matthias? I, I, when it comes to Pokemons, I defer to Jordan. He, right. He's played a lot more than, than I have. <laughs> Hey, look, Wired, we got as far as your autoplay video get wrecked. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, no, so, Sony learned the emulator lesson in the 90s. It, it stands to reason that it would take almost three fucking decades for Nintendo to catch on. Uh, I genuinely do hope that the Yuzu people come out on top on this one because, seriously, fuck Nintendo. Just fuck Nintendo up the ass. <laughs> Say what you really mean, Matthias, man. Go out and back. <laughs> How about this? Could we solve all these problems? Maybe. If. Just maybe. In this fantasy world I wish to exist in, Nintendo offered an avenue to play these games at 4K60. Or, or how, about, how about 30? Solid 30. 30 that, 1080. That, that, would be, that would be nice. 720p yeah. 30, and you have to have it docked. They would be That's happy with 720p 60, because no small <laughs> amount of people that I know with Switches know about Yuzu. Not because they pirate games, they have a Switch in the first place. They are Nintendo fans, and they still use Yuzu. Why? Because they want to play their damn games on something that's not nine-year-old mobile phone hardware. Right, and, and this, this entire case alleges, oh, Yuzu is imp- entirely used for piracy. That is the main point. They point to Tears of the Kingdom being leaked and the, uh, and like the, the Patreon Yeah, because that wasn't Yuzu. Nintendo's own cock-up that enabled that. Mm-hmm. Shh. Listen, <laughs> but, yes, but someone else Nintendo benefited from it. is not a dumb company. They're, they're trying something. They're not coming at this through the bleem angle, okay? Mm. Let's see, I've seen that been drug around a couple of times. Now, uh, bleem was kind of interesting because uh, this was like really the last time emulation came up in court, and it went down, was Sony versus Bleem, which was the PlayStation emulator. Bleem won. That was, that, the, that was the one for the PC one, right? Yeah, where you could play yeah. your PlayStation games on the PC, and like Bleem was like, you just did it, it worked, and they're like, hey, and the courts are like, hey, this is legal. And PlayStation said, yeah, have fun, because we just bankrupted your ass in court, and they went out of business. Can't do that with open source so much, so I don't know about that brilliant strategy, but Nintendo's not dumb. They're not coming at this an emulation angle they're not they're, they're like all right so to what jordan said the, the decryption equals circumvention no uh, we're not talking about emulation here we, we're, we're talking about something even worse mathematics illegal oh. numbers mm. Ooh. <laughs> even and, if and, even if you have the keys they're your keys to do it. they're like they're like well we're not sure about that you're kind of you're kind of dancing around our security there i'm like fuck you 
Uh, well, and I think that that is the point is they're going after the the uh, tutorials that the Yuzu documentation links to the le- uh, legal speak in that, though, man, the, Nintendo's going to go after they're saying you, but, Yuzu is allowing people enabling the trafficking and circumvention. Right. Of this. So that's what Yuzu be, be, because, is. Because the way to extract the keys involves a security exploit. And therefore, this is it is ultimately Which circumvention. Is I, I use a goat in a circle. <laughs> yeah. well, to be it. fair you i prayed to the yoshi really, god yeah because there's a, a thing on the dmca about how the level of security that you have in place to prevent uh the, that reverse engineering from taking place and it's very hard to argue that you have any kind of security in place when it takes a fucking paper clip to short two contacts on the side of where the Joy Con connects but it, but it doesn't matter. to jailbreak yeah, the first gen matter. switch. Because because you can circum because that is the circumvention. It doesn't matter how you do it. <laughs> I just have to stick a really, really weak encryption key on it. And even if the password is well known, if you if you brute force it, you have you have decrypted this and you are breaking the law because you were not authorized to use that key. And one of the things that was kind of interesting how Nintendo came out with this, I was like reading Jordan read through it as well, and um they were using citing their patronage uh, from patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Uh, not, not, uh, not theirs, but that's that's ours. <laughs> that's ours. Uh, no, I mean, wait, yes, no, no. However, uh, <laughs> so they were like, Tears of the Kingdom, right when that came out, uh, they it, their patron pledges, uh, the amount of patrons that they had went up. Therefore, that equals, we can, they're going to try to draw a direct line to that, yes. the piracy. And they're like, hmm, that'll stick. And of course, you're listening at home, we're talking on the show, you're like, no, that's not how that works. And then uh, something, I, I want to introduce you to Jim, our juror. He's 67 years old. Uh, he likes cauliflower. The last now, video game he played was Pong. Now explain that shit to him. <laughs> right, and this is what it boils down to. And I was, I was reading through some of the legislature involved as well because Nintendo is citing, uh, citing a specific, uh, specific law. And I think ultimately the, the biggest thing they have to stand on is that you can buy the Switch. Because it is on sale, all of this is now in play. The second you are no longer able to purchase a Switch to legitimately run your software, this becomes fair game. And... I, yeah, I, 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 I don't, it, it, I don't, I don't it becomes know. a lot less defensible because, yeah. as far as Nintendo is concerned, it's not fair game. Because yeah. you may remember that Valve themselves uh, didn't allow Dolphin on Steam because but that, but, they called up Uncle Nintendo to say, "Hey, is this okay?" No, <laughs> but, 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 but that was the thing for for Dolph, Dolphin. They were actually distributing the key. That was that was the problem. Mm-hmm. Here, Wait, these here. Are your brain, uh, now I went through the trouble because I was curious because I was like, "Man, I really want to play fucking Bayonetta." What do I got to go through to like? Do I got to buy the Switch Lite and how to, because I did the whole user thing and I'm like, oh, so what do I got to do to like, if you have the Switch, they're very clear. Users like, there's nothing on that fucking site that will even point you remotely in the fucking direction of pirating fucking games. Everything is straight above board. And you're like, cool, that's dope. However, one thing I'm thinking about, I, Nintendo's got to be doing this because the Switch 2 must be very frighteningly close or like very easily like, Nintendo has looked at Yuzu because, hey, it's an open source project. And you're like, it's going to take them eight seconds to make this work with the Switch, too. Right. Because what? It's, it's a newer revision of that NVIDIA ARM right. CPU. You, you get to imagine, like, yeah. uh, Nintendo <laughs> wants to maintain that backwards compatibility. They'd be like more foolish than Nintendo is sometimes. Well, so they, they haven't done that in the past because then they can sell you the same game again and again and again and again think, and again. I think it. The Switch has been around on the market successfully long enough to where even Nintendo realizes people will riot over that. Oh, Maybe. if they put a hard cut at this point, considering the backlog of Nintendo The backlog, games. the longevity. Yeah. We're not talking about, a, like, a Wii U. Like, this, this is, like, Nintendo's thing. Like, again, could be easily fucking wrong. But I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm trying to think like Nintendo. And, like, we, we just want to go ahead and preemptively shut this down. Can they shut down you? Can you sue open source out of existence? No, that's a beautiful thing about it. We'll always win on that. Strides and effect. Kick it in. People are finding out about Nintendo Switch emulators. Uh, good job We're going to learn how to get clone tonight, kids. <laughs> the um, worry, being on the end of it, though, um, being, you know, the limited liability company that they are, uh, you know, it's just guys doing this and then, like, if you want to donate to the project, donate to the project. You know, they're not selling you anything. Um, 
it sucked being on their end because the whole point of this is to it's a scare tactic and you know mm-hmm. And and it it, it, go, it goes without saying because we, we we have said emulators are good for other things other than piracy like software preservation which Nintendo is admittedly not a fan of or mm-hmm. even accessibility where you can allow people who have uh to to play games with like innovative controllers or um adding mods to games to allow people with like um, coordination issues to actually play ba- faster paced video games by slowing things down. Like these, these are all valid use cases. Oh, there's plenty and, of valid use cases for emulator. Like uh, piracy is just the one they jump on because yeah, at least in, you know, it's all about control, man. Like, and you know, we, we've talked about that. Nintendo is very draconian about that because, you know, in Japan, like they're legally in the right, but like, no, you cannot fucking play Nintendo games on anything other than Nintendo. And uh, that's what the law says because that's how it's written up. Uh, in the West, it doesn't really work like that. And again, they, they don't hope, the goal here, all Nintendo Nintendo set out to achieve, like, yeah, we're, we're going to make them disappear because they're not going to be able to mount and sustain a legal defense. I want to be so wrong about that, though. I, I want people to come together over this. Just, yes. just fuck, because Nintendo can't win this. If you're a part I mean, they can, of a... All right, it's the yeah. legal system, but, like, <laughs> the judge should eventually throw this shit out. But yeah, if you're a part of like a big lawyer firm that isn't really aching for money and just wants to destroy Nintendo in court, they're not going to destroy anybody in court. This is to be settled out of court. Let's be very clear about that. We, yeah, this, the this moment is, any kind of lawyer with any kind of clout gets involved, Nintendo goes, "Okay, this is not I, law and order." This, this, this I, 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 I would love this to go to trial and actually set some fucking precedent. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's, Nintendo that's, that's, does not want that yeah, at all. Yeah. No, no, this, this is about to scare some motherfuckers sitting around, you know, doing the little user thing, and they're like, "Let's just make sure this disappears." And again. You just created four new fucking projects, and Ryujin Nick is a good or whatever it's fucking called yeah. is over there going, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're next. Ryujin X is going. Okay, we're just going to be very quiet right about now. Yeah. No, no, nobody talk about us. <laughs> Shut up. We don't exist anymore. Yeah, dude. Like no, nobody's fucking hurt you, Nintendo. Why do you got to go fuck with people's lives just because like you of your just Nintendo bullshit? Get wrecked. Um, just cause they're Nintendo. Nintendo yeah. got a Nintendo. Hey, if you want to defend Nintendo and you're like, Nintendo D- is doing good, you want to beat the Defendo for the Nintendo, send us some fe- feedback. We got that over at LinuxTeamCast.com. We got a contact button. Hit the button, fill it out, send it in, leave a YouTube comment. Comment on Patreon always gets on the show. But if it's something good, you know, and that YouTube comment or that email, well, like, we just might read it right here next week. We. I, I don't think we were in the wrong last week because I, I discovered I got a little algorithm in my head when I start seeing the dumb YouTube comments show up. I'm like, fuck, one of our YouTube videos got more than like 10 views because that brings out the dumb. The dumb one shows on the people who, who have nothing to fucking say latch on and like I said thing on video. Mm-hmm. Usually anytime it gets up, you know, north of a thousand views and like that's when the other people show up. Somebody, um, Shadow Mancer. Yep. Uh, uh, yes. Sh- Shadow Mancer. We were talking last week about uh, code weavers, and they wanted to introduce a you know patch to the kernel, which will do the NT spinneroo, right? Which will NT increase the indeed. But uh, it turns out, yeah, we we may have overrepresented these gains a little bit. Bullshit. So- we cl- I went back and watched the video three times. We said once when you read it, once when you reiterated it, once when I re- said the same thing that. This may result in no performance gains. Yes. So, um, so they say, sorry to break the hype train a little bit about the 678% performance proof, but do note this is, this increase is in the context of earlier versions of NTSync. It is not 678% performance compared to other sync methods, such as event FF, uh, event FS or Futex weight V. So the news is more in line with NTSync is now in par with sync methods we've had for years. That's great, but it's not amazing as a sound from the numbers alone. Basically nothing has changed whatsoever. That's not necessarily Bullshit. true. <laughs> F sync is not uh, fully every where not every version yes. of wine is compiled with f-sync support so having this uh, having this in place is still very good but you, you you're right in the sense that yes it is not the world shaking perf- oh my god linux is finally just gonna shit take a shit on windows as long that, that it's gonna be yeah and i want to get back to what i said last week is this will worth doing for 10 percent, 15 percent? yes yes <laughs> And that, that, that's that been the, the thing all along about games w- ever since. Okay. 
ever since Wine's been around, but mm-hmm. let's go with just when Proton was first launched, and people were going, yeah, you can play most Windows games with like a 10-15% performance hit. You get that 10-15% back from even just making a simple change, which turns regular Wine into something that gives you performance parity with Windows with a change to the kernel. Yeah, no, there's there's no, a Pedro significant Mateus, I will have to you have know, that. Th- this is Linux. More <laughs> options equals worse. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, either way, we at, at the end of the day, we want Wine to behave more like Windows because that makes it run the software better. That means yes. that the shit that the actual software is expecting to do can be done. And yes, yes, it's it's like I said, it's not earth shattering, but it's it's still good shit. And these people it, are doing, it, they're it, doing it good shivers work. my timbers one way or the other. And I'm like, I'm glad it's there. It doesn't like we looked over it last week and I'm like, it's not going to hurt anything. Then cool. You know, it, yeah, <laughs> they said in the post, they were like, it might not do anything for a bunch of games. I'm like, cool, but it yeah, might do something. For some dirt. Like, yeah, I love it against it. Set your expectations accordingly. There we go. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap us up. Pedro, did you get anything this week? I did. I okay, did get then a hang uh, on. Then I got some other <laughs> shit. I, I didn't know how to play this Choose Your Own Adventure game. I'm like, okay. But we got a couple of people we need to thank. If you want to kick in, first off, if you're a patron, if you subscribe to us on Twitch, thank you. You make this show fucking possible. If you want to become one of those beautiful people, head over to our Patreon logo. Fucking hell, I'll get through us. Yes. <laughs> Shiny thing, ha! <laughs> is that new? <laughs> like, I thought they already had like the. Uh, that looks like a Rorschach uh, inkblot. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, literally off of comma. their design guide. <laughs> SVG. Yeah. All right. Okay. All, All right. right. <laughs> like, I mean, if you want to fight them over it, go for it. We got a support page. Speaking of Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. We got Libra Pay. We got PayPal. We got Bitcoin. But patrons, Twitch subs. Hop at our Discord, you get the bonus sodas, but we also have an Amazon wish list. Jordan, Jill, Pedro, and I got one for the studio, which last week was the result of me being dressed as Sank, the hog hedge. The uh, horse this week. Uh, aromatic dev. The horse I, thank you again. I, I have a nice, <laughs> legally distinct, not sonic. Don't sue me, Sega. Uh, but I got a message uh, that said, hey, man, Pedro might need to read something off and i'm like okay hang on a minute because i also want to thank aromatic dev for the five gift subs and i want to thank nubbin for that 45 month resub before i get to this there yes. we go and, uh, uh, speaking of aromatic dev uh, i did get it also came with the um little rap this redo. motherfucker's like just dropping uh gift bags huh yeah and it i, I read the little oh, note that it comes this, with uh uh-uh, hell no you got like handles no wonder <laughs> no it's just the little wrapper thing yeah mine <laughs> okay my all right fine. and yeah no like the the little note just says enjoy your gift it's like oh uh, uh a very kind stranger decided to you uh, should, throw uh, me a gift put the, do the little check mark for the where they can leave you messages yeah and uh, as it turns out uh amazon apparently didn't give our medic dev the option so <laughs> Here's the uh, the note he sent. Uh, clamps! You can never get enough of them. Uh, I use uh, them for woodworking glue-ups. Some are better than others, so it's better to go for quality. Uh, you get what you pay for. Happy clamping. Aromatic dev. So, yes, I got the G-clamp. <laughs> That's a does big it hit, clamp, man. Does yeah. it hit your yes. G-spot? <laughs> oh, it will. It, 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 it's got enough range for that. <laughs> Are you, uh, is he particularly used or you're just like, fucking clamps are awesome. No, uh, the, I, I needed something like this to push the, uh, piston of the brake, brake calipers caliper. in when I replace the brake pads, which they do need replacing. So I, I didn't have anything to put any kind of leverage on it. All right. <laughs> stay tuned for this night. I want you to take, I want Nori out there filming this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this evening. Thanks for showing up. Um, It's uh, time to call it an evening. So, you know what we got to do. Cue the music. You can always find this nonsense pulling off the rails right here on twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast. 
8.30 Eastern Standard Mode Time. If you are a beautiful party patron, Death Note, or above, hop into a pre pre super chosen. And uh, we even have, man, these headphones with this goddamn Sonic thing are freaking me out, man. It's like scraping <laughs> on the outside. I'm like, ah, they're talking in my head. Anyway, Venstone on Twitter, if you want to get a hold of me there, um, at Vin on our Mastodon, mass.langsteamcast.com, and just search for Vin on Blue Sky, if that's still a thing. I'm Jordan. I'm the Gex to Ven Sonic. You can follow me on Blue Sky at Frojo at bsky.app at uh, Frojo oh at mass.lexgamecast.com and at the Burning Fool on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I played the like superior shit first. I had it on 3DO. Right, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gex, baby. Yeah, no, yeah, you, you can find me on Macedon. It's unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.lexgamecast.com. And as soon as, uh, I don't know if Mastodon ever goes away, I don't I don't think I'll ever be on any other social network. What, 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 what <laughs> 90s video game character are you, Pedro? It's Alex Kid. Just Alex I, Kid. I, 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 I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> <Never> some credits. <laughs> Sanic doesn't know where he is. He woke up from like a three week long bender and he's in the middle of the <laughs> desert. <laughs> well, we got to think. Our lovely advisors, Omegas, Artherin, and our executive producers, Barbara M. Scott, Michelle, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer, Tomas, Hakim, Dave, Ishep, Ian, Hoplo, and Kurducky, and our little Nikki fans, Super Deathstone, Empty, and Eggy. It was the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuta, Justin, Darkwing, System D, Denzing, Joe, DeCresny, and Ogie One. All of and our beautiful Ethos, Death Nova, Notes. Chad, Smile, Rene, Leonardo, Pepper, Chris, Kim, people. Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom, 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 Wad, Stephen B, right. Back. Then we got all these crazy shows. Zeno, Gronk, Apollo, Brock, Secret Fox Eggs, Strider, Joe, and Piper. And I want to hey, thank I got each and every one of our fine upstanding cannibals <laughs> for things off my wish zone that are Sonic like things like Carl, Mike, Arthur, <laughs> and Linux, New World is, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Gametron, you know it, Diaz, and Joe, Aromatic, underscore, Dev, and of course, Guy, Joe, right. We didn't learn anything this week, did we? We're pretty careful not to, all right? I, I I learned that those ring those golden rings aren't actually full of chocolate. <laughs> Bye, <Bye-bye>, everybody. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to go to that. But I'm going to be able to keep on the live stream. We'll see you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>